Hey guys. We're live, ladies and gentlemen, Boardroom Gamer. <laughs> We're here. I have an announcement. It's a good one. So I'm Jeff Anderson, and I'm introducing Troy Baker. Hey guys. You may remember Troy, he has played with us on many a Two Player Tuesday. Well, now he's live in house mm -hmm. for the foreseeable future. Oh, yeah. And he's going to give his uh, first crack at a solo play Monday. I'm going to man the controls. He's going to man these controls as we try to take down Umbra Titan from Aeon's End War Eternal deck building game. Um, and you haven't really played it before, right? Nope, nope. Just picked, just started like a few hours ago. So you just, ran through some practice rules, but yeah. you, like, you haven't played a, an entire game. I have not played an entire game yet. So he's going to start his first game by playing upside down. How amazing is that? <laughs> You'll notice some different changes. We've got some uh, better quality cameras. You're going to see some up close card art and uh, text that you, you can finally read. Um, been making a lot of changes to the channel. Yep. There will be some exciting announcements throughout this uh, this evening. So without further ado, man, um, I'm going to get over to the controls and you're going to show them what nine cards we have in play. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's get started. All right. Aeon's in. This is a, a co-op deck builder, uh, but not this time. This time it's a solo deck builder. Uh, Here's my character, Kadir. Uh, uh, close up on that. Kadir. What's she do? Uh, she's kind of a, a tech mage. Um, she has an ability I can power up called Otherworldly Gate, uh, which will let me pull some spells out of the discard and uh, play a whole bunch of spells at once. So it's just kind of the nuke option. It's going to be very nice. Great. Uh, there are nine cards to purchase. Uh, the first three are different gems. These are the things that I'm going to use to uh, to gain ether, uh, which is going to let me buy the more expensive stuff. Frozen magmate, uh, magmite, excuse me, lets me take the next card I buy and put it on the top of my deck. Most cards go to uh, the discard pile right away, so that's a nice card. Next gem is a. Scoria Slag, uh, which is worth two um, money. What's it called? Ether? Yeah. Ether. Two Ether, but late game, uh, tier two or higher, it's actually worth three Ether. So it's going to be better. Some people say Aether, but uh, Aether. Aether. it doesn't. Uh, erratic Ingot is either worth two or four Ether. Because uh, it can't make up its erratic mind. <laughs> depending on uh, what's going on with the turn order. So hopefully that'll be what I buy a lot of. Bottle Vortex, you'll notice that it's me. Oh yeah. Uh, this is gonna be good for culling weaker cards later on. It's gonna let me uh, blow up this card plus two more in my hand or discard pile and then draw a card. So later on when I don't like these starting card, starting hand cards, I can blow them up. Uh, Primordial Fetish It's going to let me focus one of my breaches to kind of open up more slots for spells because each of these breaches is where I have to cast spells through them and right now only this one is open so I'll be able to spend ether later on to open up these others and cast multiple spells at once or I can blow it up for life because life is always important and Keelbox is here hey Keelbox <laughs> How are you? Hey, buddy. Uh, there are four spells that I can buy. The first is Jagged Lightning. Uh, three damage. And if I discard a card, I can also focus one of the breaches, which is just bringing it closer to opening and being able to shoot more spells. Next is Essence Theft. Deal three damage, and I can discard a card to gain a life. Uh, I think this and the Primordial Fetish are the only cards I have to heal, so that will be important. Uh, Conjure the Lost is a nice buff, beefy, five damage spell, uh, which I can destroy to heal the city, heal Gravehold, which is important because if Gravehold goes to zero, we lose. Uh, and the last is Reduced Ash, which is less damage than uh, Conjure the Lost. It only does four, but uh, I get to destroy my top card if I want to, which is another good way to uh, kind of cull the deck, get these starting cards out once 
It's full of beefy cards. Uh, one of the cool things I like about this game is you don't shuffle the deck. Um, after you build your discard pile and your deck is gone, you just flip it over and, and keep going. I thought that was a really cool mechanic. Mm -hmm. uh, and it actually has you start off with uh, 10 cards, but it specifies which five are going to be in your hand and which five are going in the deck. Right. So I thought that was really cool. So you don't kind of get messed up on the first turn or two. So and I'm going to start with well, this real quick. Yeah. On the breaches. So let's go back. Mm -hmm. You have to focus them or you can pay a big cost to open them. Yes. Yes. Um, I could pay seven to open this one. Or if I focus it later on, it, it'll only cost me three to open. Um, same thing with this one. And Rex is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hey. Rex. And no, nice. Rex, I did not get a giant beard. You missed the intro. This is uh, <laughs> Troy from Two Player Tuesday, our special guest for the foreseeable future. Um, Rex is from uh, Rex is from Finland. Oh, nice. So he's out there, always finished. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a shot of Troy there. Rex, hi, great to see you, man. Mm -hmm. So Troy, funny enough, Rex just did unboxing for. Um, Final Fantasy, the card game. Uh huh. See that? Look at that face, Rex. What? Yes. Is it? Is it? Which Final Fantasy is it? <laughs> well, Rex, I think you just picked up a new uh, a new follower on Twitch. Oh, You're gonna man. have to go see it because I know one Final Fantasy game, and mm -hmm. it starts with a s and ends in the Evan. So <laughs> I don't know anything. Darn sure don't know enough about Final Fantasy to tell you. Oh man. He could tell you. I don't know. I'm yeah. drooling. Yeah. So. So yeah. Okay. Back to uh, back to this. focus. Yeah, <laughs> back to focusing breaches. I'll do that later. When you uh, focus, you can prep a spell to it too. Don't oh, forget, don't yeah. forget that rule. That's right. But you, and then you, but you can't hold on to it. You have to. You shoot have to it shoot the it next off. turn. Mm -hmm. All Which right, let's nice. go back to the board and yeah. get get uh, commence to commencing. All right. Uh, the big bad baddie today is the Umbra Titan. Um, he has seventy health. He uh, starts with eight. Uh, nemesis tokens his deal is he has ways to get rid of them and if he gets rid of all of them uh, we lose he has burrowed enough under the city that the whole city collapses and everyone dies that and would be the city fault. of gravehold gravehold yeah sweet home gravehold uh let's see 30 that's the life of gravehold so if he doesn't burrow under it and destroy it there are ways to do direct damage to it uh, if it goes to zero we lose uh, funny enough, if if Kadir goes to zero, we don't lose. The game keeps going, but it just gets way harder. I'm curious. I, I will, I'll let that unfold as you play because I haven't done this solo. Yeah. So I'm really curious what happens when that happens. <laughs> it, it gets pretty wonky. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, I, agreed. Agreed, agreed. Uh, okay, what else have I not talked about? Uh, here's the Nemesis deck. It's been pre-set up. Uh, there's a couple basic cards in there, shuffled in, and then he has some special Umbra Titan cards. Uh, and it gets, it, they come in three different tiers. So there's tier one cards that are kind of easy, and tier two cards that are a little bit harder, and then like tier three cards are like buff, and they're stacked on top of each other. So it will get progressively harder as we go. Notice on the play mat, mm -hmm. there's a spot to show you what's newest and what's oldest. As you flip them... Mm -hmm. Set them to the newest side first, and then move them across. So you, because you resolve them in that order. Yeah. So I love that they put that on the play mat. Yeah, that's cool. So you know what order to always resolve them. Uh, in solo play, uh, there's these cards that represent turn order, which I thought was kind of a cool mechanic for multiplayer, where like you don't know who's going to be next. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of interesting. So for this, uh, all these numbers, uh, we're just going to play with 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 three. You'll see this fourth one is just. If we lose terribly, I might make it a little easier on myself. Um, so there's two Nemesis cards and three numbers. Uh, I'm going to represent all three numbers uh, for now. So what's going to happen is these are going to get shuffled up, and then they're just going to be drawn one at a time, and that's whose turn it is. If it's a number, it's my turn. If it's that Nemesis gaping maw, then uh, hmm. it's his turn. So I thought it was cool because it means... There's a chance that I get multiple turns in a row. There's a chance he gets multiple turns in a row. It, it makes things a little 
a little scarier, a little more intense. I like now, it. given that the turn order deck slot is way out there on the table, mm -hmm. you probably get away with uh, putting that uh, above your fourth breach. Okay. So people can see whose turn it is. I'm cool with that. Yep. I mean, it's going to be in one big giant number, so... Oh, yeah, it should be easy to see. Easy to see. There we go. All right. So Rex says, Opus 3 and 4 displays needs to get some newer ones. He's trying to get his Twitch payment so he can buy an Opus 8 display. Does Opus mean anything to you in Final Fantasy? Uh, Opus? No. Okay. So I think those are the set numbers, which means there are eight sets that you are now behind. Oh, man. I believe what, what Troy was asking Rex is, what Final Fantasy games does the card game take? Yes. Yeah. Right. Is it is it Final Fantasy VIII, the card game, or no, is it one of those? No, all, a ton. Like, oh. I saw Chocobo, and I saw stuff I'd never seen before. Oh, oh that's even cooler. Just all he the says, characters. He says all. across all, all games. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. <laughs> After we kill this big, ugly worm. Um, I think I'm ready. All right. Let's who's get got the, started. Who's got the first turn? The first wait, wait, turn. Wait, blow the horn. And we're off. Okay. Who's got the first turn? Me. Player two. That's you. <laughs> I am player two. Okay. I have a spark. That's my first spell. So I'm going to put this here in the breach. Show my death. Uh, this is kind of a basic spell. It's just do one damage. Cool. So I have to cast it in the breach, and then next time it's my turn, that's when it goes off. So they call that prepping it, right? Mm -hmm. You prep a spell there. But since it's an open breach, you can choose whether to fire it off next turn or not. Right. I can save it if I want. Okay. Um, let's see. I have three crystals. Those are the basic money cards. Each one's worth one ether. So three of those gives me three ether. And then she has a character-specific card, uh, Emerald Shard, which gives me an ether or a health. I'm at full health for now, so we'll call that an ether. I have four ether. Uh, let's just start off with a better gem. Which uh, one did you pick? Scoria Slag. Cool. It's going to give me two ether, or later, when he's tier two or higher, it'll count as three ether. I'm going to go right on top. Next five cards go to my hand. Turn is over. Next turn. Belongs to? Me again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, so first thing I do, uh, immediately any spells here go off. So if you choose. If I choose. Uh, let's, yeah, let's start plugging some damage into this big dumb worm. 69. <laughs> 69 more... Uh... Hit points and you win. That's it. I just need to cast Spark 69 more times. And that's it. Uh, what do I got? I have three more crystals and two sparks. See, now this is a bummer because I can I can prep this one spark, but I don't have a spot uh, for the other one unless I focus it, which Correct. I do. Or, you know what? Um, I have three crystals. So I'm going to spend those for three ether, which is going to let me directly open this breach. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of focusing it, I'm just going to pay the three and flip it over and make it open right now, which gives me room for my second spark. Two sparks coming at him. Uh, Put those fire up at the beginning of your next turn. Mm -hmm. My uh, deck is empty. My discard is going to flip. And now it's here. Which, so since you haven't played this before, mm -hmm. a great trick is to make sure when you spend the money and cast the spell, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Try to like balance. Yeah. I'm paying two for this one card, and then it's a spell card, so I want it there. And then three for another card, and I want it there. So you start to, to you know what I mean? It's supposed mm -hmm. to overload one hand with all gems. You're not doing any damage next turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool mechanic where it, you really, like, uh, what order you spend cards and, 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 and use abilities really matters mm -hmm. um, because it doesn't get shuffled. Um, oh, okay. Next turn. Bomb. The Nemesis. So, uh, if he had any cards in play, their effects would pop, but he doesn't. 
So the first card is going to flip. Let's see what it says. Bring it on over. Heart of nothing. Um, two discard, discard four cards in hand. So if I don't want this to go off, I can discard four cards in my hand. Uh, power two. So what that means is it starts with two of these power tokens. Uh, and then every turn he gets, he removes one. And when the last one goes off, the spell goes off, or this ability goes off, which in this case, uh, he's going to unleash twice, or I can choose to suffer four damage. And I only have 10 health, so that's a big hit. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best of options. And uh, unleashing is an ability that all the uh, bosses have, but it's different for each one. So when we get to his, I'll show you that. It's nasty. So that's it for his turn. That's it for his turn. Unless this he has easy. another one. <laughs> it's me again. Good, 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 good. So, five cards in my hand. Let's see here. Three more crystals. That equals three ether. Um, I'm still at full health, so I'll use this emerald shard of mine for a fourth ether. Uh, and then the scoria slag I bought counts as two more ether. So I have six ether to spend. That's nice. And you chose not to cast the sparks, right? Uh, correct. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for some monsters. Okay. Um, because those things. When I was prepping, like, I I let them live too long, and they were messing me up. So now I'm like worried. I want to make sure I can blow them up when I get the chance. Six. Uh, that's enough. Oh. Should I go for spells or should I? No, no, no. Let's still go with gems. So I'm going to get two of these frozen magmites, which counts as two ether. And if I buy something with them, uh, I can put it on top of my deck instead of throwing it away, which is super nice. Um, yes. Actually, no. I'm just going to get one of those and then one of these bottled vortexes. So that way I have a a way to start blowing up these these weaker quads. Uh, that's it. Draw five. There's four there, so the discard pile gets flipped. I can grab it. And I take the top card for the fifth. Done. Last will be him, of course. Uh-oh. Nemesis. So, cards in play happen. Uh, we'll remove a power token from this. It's one step closer to popping off uh, and then the next card gets drawn this is a cryptid uh, so that six means he has six life I have to hurt him six to kill him uh, persistent just means it happens every turn but it doesn't happen on, on the first turn when you, when right. you summon him um, okay so this guy says play with the most expensive prep spell which will always be me Discards that spell. Ouch. Or Umber Titan loses one Nemesis token. Which also ouch. Also ouch. Eight times, and he does that, and game over. You know, we didn't actually talk about the Nemesis tokens. Did we? Uh, I, I said a little bit. I just said that there's eight, yeah. and uh, and if they all go away, it's game over. Oh, that's all we need to say. <laughs> um, okay. We're done. So now we shuffle... Double turn, double turn. Oh, that hurts so bad. It's the worst. Technically, I mean, there's a chance, if you really think about it, he could get four turns in a row if we're completely unlucky. Good That's news. just awful. Because I think Rex has a table flip emoji. <laughs> Rex, you have that handy? Get that ready. We might need that. <laughs> <laughs> and yay, he does go again. <laughs> He's a quick worm. Uh, okay, so, heart of nothing. That last power token gets removed, which means his power pops off. Unleash twice, or any player suffers four damage. So if he unleashes, let's see here. Uh, if there is one Nemesis turn order card in the turn order discard, there's one. Doo -doo. Uh, any player suffers two damage. Oh, good. So I can suffer four damage, or I can suffer four damage. Yeah, there's your table flip. <laughs> Right on time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to suffer that four damage. 
because that's just the way it's got to be. Uh, and then this card is gone. And now the Cryptid is going to use his thing. Uh, the most expensive prep spell I have is just one of these sparks, so I'm okay with that. Chuck a spark. And was then, it your most expensive spark? <laughs> it was. It meant the most to me. And then we flip a new card, which is Seismic Roar! Let's take a look here. Um, okay, so something new here. Two discard. Uh, I can actually stop this one. Uh, oh, actually, I could have stopped the other one, too. That's right. So to stop this one, I have to spend six ether to get rid of it. And if I don't, three turns later, uh, he's going to lose two of his nemesis tokens, which is nasty. Okay. Oh, man. I thought I was going to do okay, but I'm already getting worried. Um, okay, so that's him. And remember... He's only getting three turns to the nemesis, tw two turns. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's me. Whew. I thought he might get three turns in a row there. I was worried. Well, that's right. That's possible. So that's... four turns in a row is possible. Yeah. Uh, that's that's GL right there, that's, man. That's awful. So before I play anything, this spark's going to go off. Um, I, You know what? Actually, I won't. I'm going to keep it there for the cryptid's ability. That's okay. a good idea. Um, oh, upon looking at my hand, I take that back. I am going to use it. Pew. Shoot him for one. He's only down to five health. I did that because I had another spark. So I'll just get that prepped and ready. Um, I have four crystals. That's four ether. What am I going to do? Let me start getting spells. <laughs> All right, let's go with Jagged Lightning. You're going to do a whole lot of... Let's take a look at that. Uh, three damage, and if I discard a card, I can uh, focus one of my unopened breaches, which is pretty cool. I like that. So they're going nuts with the table flip emoji. Look at this. Throwing fish into the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's going crazy. I love it, guys. Thanks. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Drew my next hand. I'm not going to look at it yet. Oh. Ooh. Well, okay, but it's coming. It's coming, yeah. It's it's 50-50 chance now. I gotta get ready. All right, everybody in the chat, is Nemesis going after this? I'm curious to see if you think the Nemesis is going next or... If I think I'm going to get a third turn, three turns in a row for me. Uh, so this time I'm going to leave that spark there for that cryptid to eat up. Um, I have two crystals. It's two ether. Uh, a frozen magmite for two more ether, four ether total, and a scoria slag for two more ether. So six ether to spend. That's a good chunky chunk. Let's get some more spells. Ah, uh, yes. Conjure the Lost. Gives me a beefy five damage. And uh, no damage to Gravehold yet, but if it takes some, I can blow it up to heal the city. You know, as our camera angle has changed, mm -hmm. you could probably pull straight down towards you. Bring those closer. The uh, the whole mat. Pull that straight down towards you. Go, 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 good. So that should be a little bit of a help. Nice. Keel Box, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Yeah. Have a great evening. I hope you guys like this game. Definitely you should play it. Um, last card is the Emerald Shard, which I'm going to use for health, because I like life. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to draw the last card of my deck. Flip over the Drush card pile and take the top four. So notice, had you healed yourself first, that would be four or five cards higher into your deck right now. Mm -hmm. You healed yourself last, so it's now on the bottom. <laughs> Something to consider. All right. All right. So much going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. It is Nemesis. Nemesis. Stop. Nemesis. Okay, starting with Cryptid. He's going to eat my spell. Yum. Tell you what, I think that's a really good use of it, though. 
yeah. leaving it there for that until you can deal with him. Yeah, because if I don't, he he goes straight for a token. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of tokens, I'm going to take off one of these power tokens. Seismic Roar is getting ready to power up. And then his new card is take a, look. a Grubber. Mother Grubber. <laughs> the Gruber. Um, five health. Persistent. If the nemesis has two turn order cards in the turn order discard pile, uh, the titan loses a token. Otherwise, the city takes two damage. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little situational. I can deal with that, I think. I think, I think, I think. Uh, he's done. I think he's got a power token on him. He needs to be moved over oh, to the... Oh, oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. The last one goes to me. All right, your turn. What do I got? Let's keep... Let's keep the sparks going. Ouch. Ouch, I only have two crystals. I'm going to get a second spark. Two crystals. This gives me two ether. Oh, yeah, I need to buy more of those gems for more ether. But two's not enough. Give me anything. Oh, what it does give me is it gives me a chance to start powering up my uh, handy dandy special character thing here. You'll notice these five slots here that say two ether each. I can pay two to fill one. When all five are filled, I get to use my special cool ability. So hopefully that works. Uh, last, I have a bottled vortex, which I can destroy cards, but I don't want to destroy. Well, yes, I do. I'm going to do it. Bottle Vortex. Destroy this. Blam. Destroy up to two cards in your hand or discard pile. Um, and get rid of a crystal and a spark. Ooh. All right. Gone forever. This bottle Vortex gone forever. And then I draw a card. Forever, ever? Which gives me another crystal, <laughs> which is one crystal, which gives me nothing. Right. So. Wow. wow. Done. Draw five for the new hand. So keep in mind, guys, there's a clock. And the clock is that Nemesis deck over there. Mm -hmm. uh, every round, two of those are coming off. And it gets closer to uh, wave two, or tier two. Mm -hmm. And then it gets closer to tier three. And trust me, a few turns in tier three, oh, you man. win or it's lights out. Yeah. They're tough. I read, if you get through the whole deck... Um, Play still continues, but he unleashes three times per turn. Mm -hmm. That's just his thing. And at that point, you, you can't stop him. Okay. New turn order. New turn order is going to start with the nemesis. Darn. Okay. It just means you get three in a row. <laughs> so, starting Cryptid is going to eat up one of my sparks. <laughs> Seismic Roar is going to lose a power token. Uh, McGruber is going to... Let's see, there's only one... So it uh, doesn't fire, right? It doesn't. Um, oh, I get it. It's, uses one. Otherwise, Gravehold suffers two damage. Okay. So the city takes two damage. Started with 30, so that's okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And then the new card... Oh, here we go. We're into tier two now. So, uh, so now my uh, Scoria Slag will be worth uh, three ether Good. for the rest of the game. Yeah. Okay, here's tier two. This is Needle Maw. He has eleven health uh, and persistent. He just does two damage every turn to the city. So, I'm already kind of getting swarmed here. Oh man, eleven health. Okay. So this game, by the way, guys, is mm -hmm. it this game is hard with two players. Yeah. So running this solo, you can see Rex even says, What if a triple nemesis turn? It can happen. Oh yeah. If the nemesis goes last and then takes the first two turns. Oh yeah. It's brutal. But the other side of that coin is technically there's a chance that I get six, six turns, turns in a row. So. You know when that happens? <laughs> Never. That's Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay, next card is me. Yeah, you're right, Rex. There could totally be four in a row. Yeah. It's friggin' nasty. I mean, you would almost burn right through tier two if you did that. Okay. Let's get this jagged lightning prepped. Uh, I'm going to keep that spark there for the cryptid to eat. Nope. No? Nope. Does it not eat your highest cost spell? <sighs> You're right. Well, in that case, I might as well blow it. Pew. One Wait, damage. you have to you have to blow your spells at the beginning of your turn. You're right. Okay. Yeah, see, okay. see that's the rhythm, man. So guys, thank you for tuning in. And if you thought this game was hard, now you see. Now that he can finally cast spells, mm -hmm. he can't. <laughs> okay, well I will save that for a turn. Um, because he wants to, not because he has to by the rules. That's right. I feel <laughs> like saving it. One crystal, two crystal, three crystal gives me three ether, and a frozen mag mic gives me two more, five ether, and whatever I buy, or the next thing I buy goes to the top of the deck. What do I need right now? Is this erratic ingot again? Uh, if there's at least one, it counts. Oh, okay. Perviac! Perviac! Hello there. How are you this evening, Perviac? Hey. Great to see you. This is Troy. He's the one who I've been playing two two player Tuesdays with. Mm -hmm. He's giving solo play Monday a shot, and I'm running the controls, yeah. moderating the chat. It's hard. And he's uh, he's hurting. Mm. <laughs> uh, I put that erratic ingot right on the top. Yeah. I think that's going to help a lot because we know there's a nemesis uh, card right there. Yeah. Done. Done. Next turn. Well, draw a hand. Yeah. Two, three, four, four cards. This card flips, and the fifth card should be a good one, I think. I believe it was. Yeah, crystal. The best yes. there is. I love crystals. <sighs> yeah! Okay. Okay, so now, now that I know that this Jagged Lightning will get blown up, I'm definitely popping that off. Uh, let me see if there's anything I want to ditch for its secondary ability. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You got yeah. You gotta get rid of that uh, that maw. Not needle maw. I'm sorry. The, the guy who's eating your spells. Yeah, yeah, cryptid. Um, okay, jagged lightning, three damage, which I'm doing. I can discard a card from my hand. This crystal I just did. Um, if I do, any player me focuses their closed breach with the lowest focus cotch, which yeah. is this one. I'm gonna turn that. So instead of seven to open it, now it's only five to open it. So let me pause you. Mm -hmm. That since you just now focus that, you can prep a spell to it if you have one in your hand. Which I oh man, I do. Thank you. Yeah, I was forgetting that when I was playing. So this one, since it's in a closed breach that I just focused, I have to pop it next turn. I cannot hold on to it. So. Oh, you're still you're still in that phase. Mm hmm. Oh, I can pop it right now. Oh, it's, you're still in that phase. Oh. You have to pop it right now. No, 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 because I'm already playing cards now. No, you're not. Yeah. You know, you were resolving this spell, mm -hmm. and part of the resolution was to discard a card to focus a breach. But then... When you focus a breach, a spell may be prepped to it. You can focus a breach. So you haven't played this two-player yet? No. You can actually pay to focus my breach. I prep a spell to it. Oh, on your no. turn. Okay. When a breach is focused, a spell may be prepped to it. Oh, wow. So I can immediately throw that, and it just pops right away? Well, your, your Leather Lightning is gone. Mm -hmm. You can choose to pop your spark now if you want. You resolve them in any order. How cool is that? Like, it's that, all hope isn't lost, but this game is hard, so take what you can get when you can take it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I don't want to overkill the cryptid. So I'm going to spark the cryptid for one. There's one life left. But since I can pop this Conjure the Lost right away... Uh, I will deal with five damage to McGruber here. That just kills him, right? It kills him. Yay! And you gain five XP. <laughs> Level up! Okay, cards in hand. Now you can start your turn. Now I can start my turn. <laughs> Erratic Ingot. Uh, there is a Nemesis yep. in the turn order, so that's worth four Ether. Scorcia Slag for two, three more. So seven Ether. Wow. Um, I will get 
reduced to ash. And then I will play the Emerald Shard to gain one life. Yeah, you don't need to be dying right now. Mm -mm. Doing all right. You got eight hit points out of ten. Yeah. Good job. That's all right. Everything's looking up. Draw my five. Next turn goes two. Nemesis. Okay. Cryptid. Ooh, I have no spells. So here we go. Uh, Umber Titan loses one Nemesis token. First one goes. Yeah, Rex, he lives. He decided to do five damage to the other monster, killing him outright, and mm -hmm. then that one guy has one health left. Yeah, I, I could have killed the cryptid, but it would have been overkill, and I don't know, that just didn't seem... Seemed like overkill? It seemed like overkill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that happened. Seismic Roar. I lose the last... Oh, I forgot. I could have spent on that. Well, you bought... Okay. Yeah, I bought a good spell. Okay, no regrets. Umbra Titan loses two Nemesis tokens. Ugh. Still no regrets. Uh, no regrets. Uh, okay, Needle Maw. Gravehold suffers two damage. Whatever. Whatever. Let the city burn. <laughs> it's only the last hit point that counts. Uh, something, something about cake and letting them eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then this new card is the Null Scion. Um, 11 health, and uh, he makes the Titan unleash. Every turn. Every turn. Or oh, every great. nemesis turn, I should say. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Well, see, every every time I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, look, I'm doing okay here. And then, like, something new and nasty shows up. I like the balance. It always keeps you on your toes. Um, boom, done. Next turn. Me! What do I got? What do I got? Spark and four crystals. So thanks, Perviac. We've been working and working and working on these cameras. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's been, it's been really cool to kind of see the progression. You know, tweak this, move this, and then each time it just looks a little different, a little bit better. Yeah, you can really read. It's really clear. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're we're stoked about about it. We got some more announcements to make after this solo game is done. Yeah. Talk about the future of the channel. Mm. To the future. <laughs> uh, four crystals, four ether, four. Get it. Uh, let's do. No, I want better. Oh, tough man. Let's do another. Scoria slag. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Don't okay. you just want to shuffle that? that uh, so bad. Pile? <laughs> so bad. One card. Two, three, four, five. All right. There. You want to shuffle it, deck? You can shuffle the turn order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad you can't trash cards out of that. I have two in mind. <laughs> this game's so much easier once we remove those two cards. Incredible. Next turn goes to the nemesis. Ouch. This might hurt a little bit. All right. Oldest to newest. Here we go. Cryptid. It's going to eat my spark. As eat planned. Um, 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 um. Needle Maw. It's going to hurt the city. We hurt the city. Uh, now Scion is going to unleash. Uh, unleash says there is one card. Um... In the turn order discard pile, so I take two damage, which is okay. I've been healing. I will continue healing. And then? And then. And then. And then. Ooh. Maul. The players collectively destroy the two most expensive prep spells, none, or Umber Titan loses two Nemesis tokens. Now, it's my understanding that since I have no spells to blow up, I have to pick the second. That is correct. Mm. This is an attack, so it just happens right away. That is also correct. That's correct. Uh, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so three left. <laughs> only three. By the way, I've only done one damage to him. <laughs> <laughs> Perby, have you played this before? <laughs> um, my turn. Oh no! 
Oh, double turn. That's the worst. Okay. Well, to be fair, it's not the worst. It's half of the worst. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Cryptid has no spells to eat, so we remove another token. Oh, this is it. Are you not done? Nidama. Oh, Nidama does too. Does too. He, un uh, he unleashes. Scion unleashes. And there's two in the discard pile. Um, if there are two Nemesis, Gravehold suffers two damage. Oh, that's better. I like that. Okay, so you've watched some playthroughs before. Yeah. Are they all gone this smooth? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm not even trying. But good news for us is that I know I get three turns in a row now. Maybe six. Maybe six. This is it. This is this it. This is the six turn move. You guys are going to see it live tonight. <laughs> six player turns in a row. Turn this whole thing around. <laughs> You're going to do 69 damage in six turns. It's uh, 12. Dukin. All right. 13 damage a turn. Let's conjure the lost. Let's jagged lightning. I actually have a spark now that I have nothing to put it on. Well, if you focus a breach for some money. Is it three to focus? Uh-huh. Okay. I got a crystal for one ether, a magmite for two more. So I got three ether. So I could focus. I could do and that. And get rid of that guy once and for all, Mr. You're Stell right. Eater. You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, okay, so three ether I'll use to focus this. Because I focused it, I can pop a spell. Uh, done, but I'm not done because I get to go again and all these spells fire off. That you feels get, good. You get to draw five cards first. Oh, yes. I was getting ahead of myself. Oh, he's excited about it. Six turns in a row, everybody. <laughs> Will he do it? This is two turns in a row. You're a third of the way there. So, <laughs> spark's going to pop, deal one damage to the cryptid, and kill it. As it deserves. Yay! Uh, what do I got? I got Contra Lost do five. I have Jagged Light do three. That's eight damage. Rex um, says it'll be five in a row. Just enough to get you excited, but also enough to lose. I'd be okay with five. I think I, I'd be fine with that. Um, eight. Who do I not like the most? Null Scion. You gotta go. So definitely Contra Lost for five. Okay. Um, Leaving him with, uh, looks like, six hit points left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's put three more into him. So he has three left. That's it through Jagged Lightning? Yeah. And I'm not going to do a secondary effect. Um, yeah. So, nope. off it goes. Okay. Cards in hand. I have one spell. Let's get that out. Reduce to Ash. It's a good four damage spell. That'll be enough to kill that Null Scion next turn. Excited if for that. you're going next. If I'm going next. Um, erratic Ingot. There is at least one Nemesis turn order card in the turn order discard pile. So that's worth four ether. Uh, crystal for five ether. Scoria Slag for two more. That's seven ether. Oh, three more. That's eight ether. And you need to open that fourth breach. Have you opened your fourth breach? No. It's plus yet. one damage. Whew. When you prep spells to it. Right. Um, so fun. But it's so expensive, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Ridiculous. Eight. Either. What does it cost you to open it right now? Right now, the third one costs three, and that'll also give me the, the damage oh, bonus. Oh, good. So let's pay three to open that. Uh, and you'll see right here it says plus one damage on cast. So every spell through there... Even if it doesn't do damage, now does one more damage. So, I, cool. you know, I'm so used to the legacy because we've played eight campaigns. It doesn't have that yet. Ooh. Um, you play the role of an apprentice. Ah. You start with actually only three breaches. Really? And then you build it up. Dude, it's so fun. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that out for sure. Um, so let's see. I had eight. spent three. I got five left. Um, before I buy, I'm going to... Use this emerald shard to heal a life. Okay, five ether gets me. I put this in the wrong place. There we go. Uh, essence theft. Three damage and I can heal. Oh, yeah. That's great late game. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go with that. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four cards. Beep. 
Remember, essence of theft is on the bottom. Five cards. And we know that it's my turn again. So reduced to ash is popping off. Before I deal this four damage, when prepped at the start of my casting phase, right now, reveal the top card of my deck. Uh, you may destroy the revealed card. Yes, 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 I will. That was really good. And this four damage is going straight to the Null Scion. And he will die. Ah, ah, ah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, that worked out quite well. Okay, cards in hand. Spark and four gems. So let's get the spark out there. Now in the third slot, so it's going to deal that extra damage. Mm -hmm. um, three crystals gives me three ether. Ascoria Slag gives me three more. So six ether. I'm going to pick up another one of these bottled vortexes just to kind of cull the deck later. Uh, and a frozen magmite. And then after this, I think I'm just going to buy beefy spells. I think I'll be at a good point to do that. All right. We shall see. Hey, Keelbox, welcome back for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Glad to have you back as always. Mm -hmm. Five cards in my hand. Let's take the turn order deck and get my fourth turn in a row started. Maybe. Yes! Turn four. <gasps> turn four. Turn four. Rex. It's going to happen. Turn four out of six in a row. First things first. If Spark you wish. shoots off. Um, I don't care about Needle Maw that much. What's this deal? Two damage to Grave Hole? Yeah. Well, I mean, you will over the next oh, ten turns. You're right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll deal... The two damage to him. It's so tough it is. to deal two damage to a guy that has 11 life. Yeah. Hey, Rex is staying strong. He's saying it's going to end in five. The, ever the optimist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. 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 Okay. Uh, let's get a Conjure the Lost prep. It's going to do six damage because of where it is. Let's get a Jagged Lightning. And a spork. I forgot the second half of Jagged Lightning. What was the discard for? Uh, I can discard it to focus. Ah. Um, yeah. Uh, a breach, which is pretty nice. Saves Especially when it's a crystal. It. Yeah. Oh, I just focused a breach for one ether. Especially, I mean, this last one is four to focus, so mm. it's just saving me a lot of... So it's seven to straight up open it right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, my two gems. I have the Erratic Ingot, which is only worth two because there's no... Nemesis turn order cards. So two ether, two more from the Magmite. But if I buy something, it goes to the top of the deck. Can I take advantage of that? Hmm. Can Bottle. Can I take advantage of that? Yeah. Yeah, that bottle. Get two bottles in there. Because yeah. you're going to... Yeah, you might pull two bottles in your next hand. Do I have... Yeah, I got enough stuff to blow up. That's, that's a good call. Top of the deck. I'm gonna blow that up next turn for sure. Um, okay. Will it be five, as Rex four, says? Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. <sighs> five turns. Uh, uh, five turns uh. in a row. That helps so much, <laughs> so much. Speaking of which, am I gonna murder this guy right now? Six. Nine, ten damage. He only has nine. Oh, yeah. I'm going to murder him. Oh, by the way, how many cards do you have in your hand? Five. And then you flipped your deck over? It wasn't time to yet if you didn't have to draw. Those need to be in your discard pile. Okay. Because you have a card in your hand that lets you destroy stuff from your discard pile, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. This game, man, it's like every little inch <laughs> you mm -hmm. can get. Kirby wishes matters. you to kill him with fire. <laughs> oh, you die with fire. There you go. Uh, six damage from Cons of the Lost. Three more from Jagged Lightning. That is That's eight. all nine of your That's health. That's nine, yeah. You die now. You. Take Spark one more damage. Spark him. Spark him. <laughs> 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 Those are also now in your discard pile. That's good news. Because if you want to choose the Spark instead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. So, let's do that first. Bottle <laughs> yeah. vortex. Rex says he wished you to give him a hug. Ah, not him. Not the the monster he blew up instead. Nah, I don't want to hug him. It's <laughs> creeping me out. If he was a little more adorable, I would. <laughs> Bottle vortex. Destroy this. Blam. Destroy up to two cards in your hand or discard pile. So good, man. So good. Let's get rid of. You know, the spark's kind of. Yeah, I think you need damage. Yeah. So just leave it and just. Let's get rid of two crystals. Nobody likes crystal anyway. Hear that crystal? <laughs> uh, and then draw a card. So now you now. get to flip it over. <whistles> All right. It's a good fifth turn. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay. Reduced ash. Put on the good spot. Uh, essence theft. And then I got two, three gems. Okay. Crystal for one ether, scoria slag for three more. That's four ether. Uh, I got the emerald shard, so I could get a fifth. Is there anything for five I really... Well, consider, since your deck is thinning and you have some spells in there... I should get some more gems. No, don't forget about your ultimate ability. Mmm, that's true. Sometimes, in this particular game, over buying cards and never doing that... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Emerald Shard for a fifth ether. I'm going to buy one frozen Magmite mm -hmm. and then Charge power your... up my ability one more. Charge your weapon? Yeah. Because when that hits, that's going to hit real hard. Uh, okay. Five cards on my hand. Nope. Very uh, good guess. Good guess. You're right. You win. <laughs> Five turns in a row. Five in a row, Rex. You were right. Okay with that. I think he did a lot of damage. Oh yeah, I cleared his whole his whole field. So nothing pops out right away, and then this card. Let's take a look. The Aphetic Aphotic Sun. Uh, seven ether to discard it. If I don't. Uh, power two it unleashes, and then the player with the most charges suffers three <laughs> damage and loses all their charges. Oh, that's fair. Uh, okay. Well, I have two charges. I have two turns to have a seven ether hand. Let's get the charges on there. Oh, those are the wrong tokens. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Two in a row. Uh, so, take a charge off of this. Draws a new card, which is the Tomb Fright. Only eight health. Okay. Uh, if Umber Titan has five or more Nemesis tokens, which he doesn't, it loses <laughs> Nemesis token. Otherwise, Gravehold suffers three damage. Okay, so just more damage to the city, which is a bummer, but... That's the persistent ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he's done. Next turn is me. Speaking of damage. Speaking of damage. Oh, he needs some health tokens on him. The, ah. The losing lumbar, whatever he is. <laughs> Tomb Fright. Ooh. Lizard. Eight health. Five. I could do eight damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. So, first off, reduced ash, when prepped, start of your casting phase right now. Real top card of my deck. It is an erratic ingot. I will not destroy that. I'm going to leave that <laughs> right there. But I will deal five damage. Okay. Essence theft. Get three damage. Discard a card if I want to heal. Um, I think you're good on health, man. You're not, like, you're not even half dead if, yeah. if you don't. You know what? Actually, I got a bottle of vortex I don't want to use right now. Ah, so I'm gonna one. chuck that and just heal a little bit. Blink. And then I'll deal that three damage and kill off the tomb fright. Now are you able to nullify that uh, nemesis event? 
Hmm. One, four, six. Nah, I only have six. Of course. I need seven. Yeah. Why not? Well, there go all my, all my little tokens. Your charges? Yep. Got a spark up there Man. ready to cast. You know, actually, that's not true, because you might get a turn before he does. Right. I might get lucky. Crystal for one ether. Magmite for two more. It's three ether. Scoria slag for three more. Oh, that's good. Six. That's six. Ether. Two, four, six. Charge. Ma. Charge. Charge. <laughs> if you spent it there, blow them all because you may lose them anyway, mm -hmm. and do it. Right? Can you? Turn up to three cards. Let's see. Do I have the spells? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two. this may be one heck of a turn here in a minute. You see, he may possibly lose the charges he's already invested in. Mm -hmm. However, he does have the spells in his discard pile. Let's, let's zoom in on her ability real quick. Mm -hmm. He may return up to three spells from the discard pile to their hand and prep up to two spells to each of their opened breaches that turn. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, I have six to spend. Um, I'll just do it for fun. So you can see what it looks like? Two. You can push it forward four, a little bit. Six. The card. There we go. So now you see, fully charged for fully like a charged. half a second because... <laughs> uh, activate during any player's main phase right now. Bloop. Get rid of those. Three spells in my discard pile to my hand. Essence Theft. Now, reduced to ash. Well, I just have two spells. Well, okay. That's still better than get losing the two charges. Yeah. Now, prepping them to... Uh, Let's the, double prep this one. For sure. <laughs> it does the extra damage. And then I'll get one there. So good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now okay. we'll see. If it's Nemesis, haha. -ha. Right? Yeah. Not and if it's even... not, ha ha. Like, <laughs> this is this is a good turn for you almost either either way. You know, yeah. not that you want that to happen, but he's not getting your charges. Nope. You can't have them. Good thing you invested a couple turns ago in that one extra charge. Yeah. Because you wouldn't have had the... That's all I needed. One's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Cool. Cool. Makes you feel that better. Means we d made good choices. <laughs> when uh, we lose, we know we did it best as we could. <laughs> lose that last token. Unleash. There's one out, so unleash does two damage to me. Ugh. And then player with the most charges suffers. Oh, I forgot about suffering three damage. That's okay. Now I need to heal. And also because you've been healing, you're in a position to take all that damage. Oh yeah, if I hadn't healed, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> and the game would be hard. Because <laughs> it's not right now. Okay. He flips a new card. Good, it's a monster. Let's take a look. Oh, you know, just the Vault Behemoth. Nine health. Persistent. Any player suffers two damage if this minion has eight or less life. I'm going to lose this. God. We should basically have to one-shot him. Yeah. But you could. Now, you, you have spells in your deck that can facilitate that, but... Is he tier three? Nope. Still no. tier two. Not yet. Okay. I'm nasty for tier two. Let's get you some health. There All are right. so many things for you to uncover in this game mm -hmm. that's so... Funny. Just I, mechanical. I, well, if you think this is hard... <laughs> This is like on easy mode. No, this is hard mode. Remember, you only have three turns, not four. Oh yeah. And we, you're laying I guess it down. This is regular mode. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Hard mode is you get one. He gets two. I don't know. I didn't know about the solo mode until you told me. I was stoked. All right, whose turn is it? It is my turn. Yes. Beautiful thing. Let's talk about all these spells, Johnny. <laughs> so what do I got here? I got five, seven, ten damage. Oh, I could kill the guy. That's good. Um, let's see here. First thing I want to do, Essence Theft. Do I want to heal? I should heal. Um, I will. Deal three damage. I'm going to discard the Spork to heal a life. So 
three damage to him. Um, reduced to ash. Okay, here's where I gotta flip this. The top card is a crystal. So because of reduces to ash's ability, I will destroy it. That is working out so well for you. Yeah, two out of two. Um, so five damage, and then that spark is gonna kill him. Okay. So he's dead. Which is nice. I was worried about him a little bit. Okay, cards in hand. Let's get uh, Conjure the Lost out there. Do some nice, chunky six damage. Uh, let's get a Jagged Lightning out there. I like that spell. I like it a lot. Um, Erratic Ingot gives me four, uh, four uh, Ether because there is a Nemesis card out. Magmite gives me two more. So six Ether. And Magmite says if I buy something, it goes on the top of the deck. So I'm in a good good position. Let's do another Conjure the Lost and set it right on top. It's going to be nice. I like it, I like it. Turn. So I'm going to get that Conjure the Lost right now. How does that work again? Uh, Frozen Magmite. No, Conjure the Lost. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's straight up five damage. But if I want to destroy it, I can heal the town for four. Oh, cool. So if things start going south, I can last minute kind of get some heals in there. So I put out a questionnaire for Two Player Tuesday. Yeah. Had them visit our BGG profile. Because mm -hmm. on the BGG site, it has my library of games. Oh, nice. And uh, Herviak's having a hard time. He says we should play Netrunner Catan Code Names. Red Dragon Inn, oh. Splendor, Multiverse, Sentinel, Star Realms, oh, Red Dragon Inn. <laughs> I just read the rules for Netrunner like a day or two ago. I still haven't played it yet, but that one looks really interesting. Keelbox says Star Trek Catan. <laughs> I love that one a lot. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know there was a Star Trek Catan. That's amazing. Uh, as a matter of fact, reach your left hand back down one shelf. Right, right, well, right there. Over. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you are touching it. So that's a key box. He asked if we had it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> yep, with the map that I haven't played with yet next to it. Oh, nice. Federation space map, so. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. So that's an expansion. This is the expansion for it. Wow, that's pretty. That's cool. Yep. I wonder how that works. Got well, I'll extra. tell you how it works extra features and stuff you basically get to you get to uh play a card like uh, you can play kirk spox mccoy or whatever mm -hmm. it has one ability and then you flip it over to its red side meaning it's spent and then you pick another one from the uh, from the center that's on its blue side okay at the end of your turn you can flip that one to its blue side can i trade vulcan for sheep <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> love it uh next turn goes to me it does go to you. Maybe you'll get three in a row. Oh, I hope so. Well, you got some damage to put out this time. Yeah. Finally. Oh, man, this feels good. What is his damage out? I can't see it for some reason. On He's the at 68 okay. out of 70. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that Jagged Lightning? I do not. All right, I'm just going to go for the damage. Six from Conjure the Lost. Three more from Jagged Lightning. Blam, blam, blam. Nine damage. Goes from 68 to 59. All right, would you guys like to see us do Star Trek Catan tomorrow for Two Player Tuesday? Is I'm into it. Is that what I'm reading? <laughs> okay. Cords in hand. Let's get that Conja Lost I just bought. Set it right there, ready to go. Ooh. I'm going to pop this bottle of Vortex, I think. Um... Let me double check, make sure I have the things to blow up. Well, thanks, Perviak. Yeah, it's a, it's a collection for sure. It's, it's been in the... Well, our, our first game store opened when I first met Troy, actually, which was 2002. So that yeah. was a couple years ago. Yeah, it was. Um, I do have some of those games from then. Uh, the Catan. That, the, yeah, the actual Catan that I have on the shelf is from then. Uh, Dominion. I believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Dominion's from then. Oldies but goodies. Yeah, that was definitely a... That sounds about when it came out. It was, I mean, it was the first 
first tech builder, so. It might have been a few years after, but it's from that store, because yeah. we ended up owning three stores. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What do you got? Uh, I was going to play the bottle vortex, but I'm going to hold on to it. I don't have enough cards to blow up yet. Okay. Uh, score your slag. Three ether. Frozen magmite gives me two more. Five ether. Uh, and this emerald shard I'm going to use for a health because I do not want to accidentally get blown up before I win. Uh, what Wouldn't that be a kick in the pants? Yeah. Like you're on, you're like on par. To I mean, do some I, I haven't seen a lot of those those tier three guys. They might just like <laughs> punch in the face. <laughs> punch for five. There's one no! that says you lose and it's instant. <laughs> That'd be on. We didn't play this test at all. Remember that? Oh yeah, that was a fun one. We didn't play test this at all. You play this card and you no, win. No really. No if really somebody didn't. plays the uh, you, you cut this card, you win. Tell them you win instead. <laughs> Um, five to spend. Let's get another spell going. Yeah, Perviac, we had, uh, so we had a, a store called City of Heroes when we first opened, and that was before the video game existed. Top of the deck. And, uh, that was a comic book and board game store with a lot of hero clicks. The hero clicks was super popular at the time, as was Mage Knight. And Troy's drug of choice was Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time. Big Back time. in the day. Mm -hmm. I don't have Quirkle. I love the game Quirkle, um, mm -hmm. but I don't own it. I had I have the app, and I used it, the app like when I travel and stuff. So I didn't ever I never ended up picking up the game or, or keeping a copy for myself because I just played on the app. All right, what do you got? Whose turn? All right, next turn. Yeah. Me again. Dang. Uh, one thing of note: the bottled vortex from last turn. I actually held on to it. This is one of the few games where you don't chuck your whole hand. If you've got something you can't play, you can actually hold on to it for, right. the, for the next hand. Uh, but you just have to draw up to five, so it just means you're drawing one less card. you got to resolve that, or you're not going to... You want to do it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Six takes, damage. Takes them down to what? Down to 63. Or 53. Getting there. He's getting there. Now that i got the big spells coming out. I think it's time to get that last... Uh, Breach open. I think that's my next plan. Hmm. Um, okay. Let's get the theft ready to cast. Let's get a crystal for one ether, a slag for three more, four ether, and then a magmite for two more. So that's six ether. Uh, and if I buy something, it goes to the top of the deck because of magmite. Oh, do. Conjure the Lost. It's so good. It hits so hard. Yeah. And it's going on the top of my deck. That being said, I will now blow up the Bottle Vortex. Destroy this. Destroy up to two cards in my hand or discard pile. Let's go with this crystal. And this... Spark. Yeah, just one. Yeah, that's going to be... It's getting good. Mm-hmm. And then I draw a card. Which is a Conjure the Lost. I just bought it. <laughs> It's going to go right there. Fantastic. That actually worked out really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, timing, man. It, you're, you're so right. It just <laughs> oh, yeah. it means so much. Because in other games, it doesn't because you just shuffle the discard pile like some yeah. haphazard hermit. <laughs> <laughs> Two cards, three more from the discard pile. And I'm so done. Imagine the level of, of like OCD for the guy that that designed this game. Yeah. No, no. Don't disrupt the order of those cards now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I'd been a play tester for this. That would have been like, what? This does what? How does that work? Uh, okay. Nemesis. I ain't afraid of you. What do you got? He's got an instant. He's got an attack. Ooh. We're in tier three now. Let's take a look. Crumble. A little bit lower. Uh-huh. There. That's a little better. Okay. All right. Umber Titan loses three Nemesis tokens, or... <laughs> <laughs> Let's choose that. What's the or? Unleash. Place the most recently discarded minion in the Nemesis discard pile back into play. So that's that guy. Okay. Well, I have to. If I, if I choose the first option, I lose right, right. now. So, Unleash. Um, there there's are two. two. So that's going to be two damage to the city. Okay. Okay, 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is looking grim. Yep. And that guy comes into play. <sighs> He's back. One shot, Willie. Mm hmm. And his nine hit points. Okay. Ouch. Bummer. Yeah. Just when I think I got him. It did. Pervy X says back to you right into a corner. Mm hmm. There's no question there. Mm hmm. I had one, one option. Uh, okay. Let's make sure. He doesn't get multiple turns in a row. Oh man, this is. Yeah, now it's getting risky. I'm getting the. I'm. I'm finally getting the spells to do some decent damage to him, but it's almost like one turn too late. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay. So okay. You're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> Five nine. Okay, I got the nine damage. I'm gonna blow him up again. Uh, five from Conjure the Lost, four from Essence Theft. And that heals you, right? Uh, if I discard a card, which. All right, kill box. Bye bye again. See Star Trek Catan tomorrow night, seven thirty. I'm gonna discard uh, the spark that was in my hand to heal, because I just don't want to get caught off guard. Okay, spells. Let's get a reduce to ash out. Let's get an essence theft oot. Uh, erratic ingot is only worth two. Frozen magmite is worth two, so that's four total. Um, I'm gonna focus. Okay. I wanna get this guy flipped so I can have two. Extra damage. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because you are dropping about two spells per turn, though. Yeah. Might as well buff them both up, right? Yep. Okay. That is the end for me. Five more cards. You. 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 Me! <sighs> <laughs> yeah. This is like the most... That's the stress. ...heart-wrenching, like... <sighs> like, I hope more, more games do something like that. That's It's really cool that, like... You know, you kind of get used to the the, the, the pace. Or, you know, you're like, okay, I know I'm gonna get to do this before he gets to do this, but now you don't know. You don't have know you played Sentinels of the Multiverse? Oh yeah. Okay, so much like that. Yeah. I go, you go, the environment goes, the boss goes, and so on. Mm -hmm. This is like, just get ready. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, okay. For that, let's shoot him. Reduced to ash. Top card is. Uh, conjure the loss, so I'm going to keep that right there. But I'll do four, uh, five damage from that, and then three more from the Essence Theft. Do eight to his face. Taking him to 40. 45. 45. Almost halfway dead. Uh, okay, Essence Theft. Did I want to discard? I did You're six didn't. health. Yeah. Okay. New cords. They're folding their arms all smug. I don't need health. Hmm. Let's get a Conjure the Lost out there. I love that spell. It's so horde. Let's get a Jagged Lightning out there. Mm. Um, nope, nope, nope. You stay there. Scoria Slag for three. Ether. Magmite for two more. So Fire Ether. Emerald Shard for a six Ether. I'm going to spend four to open this. Nice. And I'm going to spend two to start powering this up again. All right. So for future strategy for you, mm -hmm. hold back that Jagged Lightning since you knew you were going to open that right. breach. And then boom. I could have played that then. Upon opening. Mm -hmm. But if you lose and he had one hit point left, <laughs> we'll bring that back up. Yeah. Should that happen? That's when I'll start crying. <laughs> Okay. So you've got one more card left in there, and the Nemesis has two, is that correct? In the turn deck? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. He's in, a, I'm in a, he's in a good spot, but I have no idea what those what those tier three cards are going to do. Well, let's see if you no get to pull one. At. Nemesis. Good. The Yawning Black Power. 
Oh, it's a power. Okay, so spend eight to discard it. And if I don't, any player suffers six damage. Or Umber Titan loses three Nemesis. Both of those suck. But you can heal from time mm-hmm. to time, so... All right. Okay, okay, all right. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Uh, at least I have a few turns to maybe get lucky and get eight ether. Um, two turns in a row. So I have <laughs> one turn <laughs> to maybe get lucky. Uh, and the next card of his... Obliterate! Unleash twice. Uh, that's going to be... Let's see. There's two cards in here, so when he unleashes, that's two damage to the city. So that's going to be four damage to the city. I'm going to do that right now. Mm. The city is half dead. Look the city the is on fire. Part. Look at the second part, ladies and gentlemen. player with the most open breaches destroys four cards in hand or suffers four damage. Destroys. Do you ah. those crystals? <laughs> well, I cannot... I would take the damage, man. Yeah, I got nothing. This is to so close to end game <laughs> that losing those four cards would kill you. Yeah, <laughs> it would. It would. It would jack me up. Whew. Okay, two life left, and we know it's your turn. We know for sure. I might get a couple turns in a row. I'm lucky. Okay, um, okay. my turn. Spells pop. Six, nine damage. 36. 36. Past the halfway mark, he is bloodied. <laughs> and I mean, you are, you're putting damage down. Yeah. That's, that's 17 gotta, in the last two turns. I just got to keep myself alive. Oh, I really hope I get eight either, but I don't think I will. Oh, I will not, but... <laughs> I'm going to get double Conjure the Lost. Okay. That's 12 damage right there. Uh, and an Essence Theft, which I will probably use to heal. Scoria Slag, 3 Ether, Frozen Magmite, 2 more. So 5 Ether. Um, so here's where, do you need cards or do you need charges? I know what I need. Uh, so because of you- Magmite, I can place it on top, so I'm going to buy this uh, Fetish here. Okay. Remind us what that does. Take a look. Take a look. Uh, I don't think you bought one of those, have you? Nope. Nope. I can focus a breach, which I will not do. They're all done. Or I can blow it up for three life. Oh, nice. <laughs> which I think I need. He keeps popping me for like four at a turn now. Like, oh, man. I, I want to keep at least like half health. Um, okay. Draw my Hopefully five. you draw that fetish. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good, that, that put cards on the top of your deck, that's such a good mechanic. Mm-hmm. That helps a bunch. All right, we're down to the luck portion. Like, uh, if this goes his way. <sighs> okay, if this goes his way, we get to learn the rules on what happens when I go to zero health. That's what happens. So check this out, the... the the auto mod blocked uh, Perviac's use of the word fetish. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I mean, of all the things for it, I mean, I allowed it. I pushed it through, but really? Fetish? Can't say that. <sighs> okay. Luck was on my side. Yes. Let's see what we can do here. We can do 15 damage. <laughs> so, 20. So scandalous, Perviac. That's, that's your first of n- no warnings. <laughs> he has a fetish with the word fetish. He has a fetish fetish. <laughs> Could you imagine that guy? <laughs> oh, man, I love fetishes. <laughs> Just in general. And then, were you going to heal with that? I might. I will. Chuck that, s- discard that spark to heal. Uh, destroy this fetish. Don't say Beep. it. <laughs> to heal three more. <laughs> Perviac says it probably exists. Somebody <laughs> with a fetish fetish. <laughs> yeah, look at there. Right back as if you never got hit. Not at all. Um, all right. You have eight to spin? I do not. 
What's going to happen with the hex? Oh, actually, shoot, that's still going to get me. Uh, I can choose to either suffer six damage, mm -hmm. <laughs> or uh, the Titan here loses three tokens. Oh, got it. Yeah, that's going to not be fun. All right, well, let's see. Let's see. I uh, get the reduced ash out there. Erratic ingot is worth two. Magmates, two more. Uh, so four. Um, I'm going to get another fetish. If I'm lucky enough to get another turn, You'll heal again. I'll get out of the red. Uh, and I might be okay. And Magmate says, I, Magmite says I can put it on top. So he may have a fetish I fetish. 50-50 chance <laughs> of being okay for a little bit longer. All right. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. <laughs> so you're going to learn me on what happens when you die? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and get rid of that power token. Power token goes. I... You have to take the six, right? Yep. Six or nemesis tokens. But those that's auto lose there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's something different in Solo. He dies. I don't know how he's still in the game, but he's about to explain it to me. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. In solo mode, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I told him, ah, don't bother learning what happens when you die. You're going to be fine. <laughs> player's life is reduced to zero. That player's exhausted. Uh, resolve the Nemesis's Unleash effect twice. That's the first thing that happens. Um, that's going to hit... The player uh, for but two. It, but it hits Gravehold instead, right? But it, for double damage. So so it's going to hit Gravehold for four right now. Twice. Twice. So eight, does it have eight left? It had 14, so okay. eight brings it to six. It has six life left. Now is when I start maybe blowing up those cards to heal the city. We shall see. So, uh, Unleash Effect twice. Mm, the exhausted player destroys one of their breaches. Make it the third card. <laughs> okay. Um, and then there were three. The exhausted player discards all of their charge tokens. Hmm. Glad we didn't invest this time. So from now on, I have no health points. So anytime I take damage, it's double damage to the okay to the city. Got it. Which has six left. So oh man. Oh, and also that that beep is now a waste because I can't heal. Oh. Or fetish out loud. <laughs> hmm. Well, now we got to see whose turn. Oh yeah. Whose turn? Oh man, don't don't get. Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot you get to a flip a card for him. <laughs> oh, an attack. Let's take a look at how it all ends, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Game over. Gravehold suffers seven damage or unleash three times, which Wait. would both both ways are enough to destroy the city. Oh man. Uh, Almost had it. Almost that is, had it. That is unfortunate, misfortunate, in every way possible. That worm was just too wormy. He's exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That concludes Aeon's End War Eternal. I mm -hmm. uh, hope you guys enjoyed yep. watching that solo mode. This will keep Dude. you on your toes. I, I suggest it to everyone. It's got some really cool mechanics. Um, it's it's uh, deck builder and co-op. So if you like either of those put together, it's just like extra amazing. You've called 12 cards out of your deck. I don't think I've ever seen anybody uh, thin their deck for 12 <laughs> in hands and ever. A couple here, a couple there, but not 12 for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so announcement time. What do we got going on? We've got two player Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And we've got We Play Wednesdays. We do. So the tentative schedule, because we've been asked, uh, you know, what's going on with the schedule, mm -hmm. is uh, we're going to shoot for 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 mm -hmm. p.m. Pacific, each time we stream, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, we may have bonus streams here or there. Yeah. If, if it strikes our whimsy and our fancy. Uh, I'm sure it will. Yeah. We're going to be de developing um, emotes for the Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fun. Uh, so then uh, once we get up to a certain amount of followers and, and we get enough people watching, they'll let us have emotes uh, for, I think it's partner or affiliate. I think it's affiliate first and then partner for Twitch. Um, we'll have emotes for that. And then we have our, uh, don't forget to check in on Boardroom Gamers um, podcast. Yeah. 
We do board game in a minute. We talk about a game and we try to talk about it in under a minute. Yeah. About, it takes about a minute and a half, but you know, if you can describe a, a game in a minute, mm-hmm. uh, look for the Boardroom Gamer podcast. Uh, we're going to start doing more um, skit videos for our YouTube channel. Yeah. Those are going to be a trip. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok. We got some funny stuff there. I know it sounds ridiculous, but so are the little mini 15 second, 30 second skits we're running on TikTok. That's, that's where we're funny silly videos go yeah right i mean <laughs> they can't all be long form videos um and some unboxing review videos some setup videos you know how to set up games mm-hmm. uh, plenty of content coming from boardroom gamer so i i do appreciate your guys uh watching following uh, follow us on instagram uh, i think i have another couple days before those uh, gifts that i have for everybody that's been watching and following on the twitch channel arrive mm-hmm. it took longer from the printer that's one hint for you they took longer from the printer than I expected, uh, but they are on their way. So I can't wait for them to be on their way to you. Yeah. We'll be doing more um, audience-suggested games, like tonight. You talked about Star Trek Catan, so we're going to be rolling that out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, so we play Wednesday. That's what we got from Perviac. What's Perviac saying? I can't read it. Uh, yeah, love emotes. And I'm so excited for you. This is amazing. It is amazing. Thanks. Nice. Um, we're really excited. It's like... Yeah. This is something that Jeff brought up months ago, mm-hmm. and just to see it like getting put together now is just, it's mind-blowing. Yeah. It's so cool. It's been so much fun. So We Play Wednesday mm-hmm. is uh, we play with one of you. So we've got a Discord channel. That's one of the things I wanted to mention. We have a Discord channel. The link for that will be in our Twitch um, uh, page, channel page here by the end of the week. But we do have one set up. We're going to have people that can log into the Discord channel. And then when we do a We Play Wednesday with one of you, we'll have you log into the Discord channel and join us in the chat so we can hear you and you'll make your moves on the board in real time. Um, starting with um, a Heil, which is a Tetris party-like game. Ooh. Uh, super fun. If you like Tetris and understand Tetris, then you already like and understand this game. So uh, look for that this Wednesday. I believe we already have some volunteers for that that I've lined up. Sweet. Um, yes, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, I think what's going to happen is it's going to be you... And two volunteers. Okay. So that should be cool. So again, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. And I guess we'll catch you two-player Tuesday on our next boardroom meeting. Mm-hmm. All right. Wraps it up. And all you got to do is hit that button in the top right corner. This guy? That's the left corner. That's the right corner.